guys welcome to the African diaspora cooking if you're watching me the first time you're very welcome don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you want details of this recipe don't forget to visit my blog www.africandiasporacookingaustralia.com today I have a very delicious jello rice to present to you you know African Africans cook jello rice in different ways and different methods so today I have two different methods to show to you how to cook jollof rice. So guys, we are not here to debate which African country cooks the best jollof rice. We are just here to cook a very delicious jollof rice. So guys, stay tuned and we, as we go straight to work. Thank you. Here we are in my beautiful kitchen. So to begin with, what we do is, in a pot, pour some coconut oil, Place some onion and fry until translucent. Add some tomato paste. This is just the first method to teach you how to do jello fries. We have two methods, or we have many more methods, but I know two methods that are very effective, and this is one. You stir fry your tomato paste until a little bit dry or done. Look at how beautiful it looks. It looks red and beautiful. This is how I like mine to look like because I like my jello fries to always have a particular color. So, this is my stock. I already boiled my stock because I am planning to eat this jello fries with some chicken. So, I use some of the stock as water to blend some of the ingredients or to blend all of the ingredients. So, I have here red onion. Capsicum, tomato, shredded crayfish. I'll just put all this in the blender and give it a blend. So I have ginger garlic and some celery sticks. I set aside after blending and in a this is the second method in a pot or in a skillet. Pour coconut oil and you pour tomato. You stir Depending on the type of tomato you have, it's not, if it's not a sweet one, you don't, you, you, not mind, you not bother to fry so much. And you add all your blended puree or spices inside the tomato and you give it a stir. Stir until all the ingredients are well incorporated and allow to simmer. It's going to cook or it's going to simmer for some 12 minutes while it's simmering marinate with some bouillon cubes and some salt and stir you stir you stir while it, while it simmers now wash your rice properly i use in this recipe i use basmati rice i wash properly and pour into my my rice and I'm going to use the stock of the chicken which is very important because these are one of the things that is gonna give my jello rice a very delicious taste this is my stock set aside I pour inside and I stir thoroughly in order to incorporate everything and if you like you can test to see if everything is alright that's just what I'm doing right now so I place some bay leaves inside. That is one, two, three, four, five. Five bay leaves in order to give it that very beautiful aroma. Yes, we, you know we steam rice, we don't boil rice. So I want to give it a good steam in order that all the ingredients will be well steamed with the rice. That's why I decided to cover the rice with a foil paper. Now my rice is ready. This is after 15 minutes, from 12 to 15 minutes, depending on the quality of rice. Some rice is strong and some are soft. And I was I didn't pre-boil the rice. Our jello rice is ready. This is it. It looks so yummy. You can save with any kind of meat. You can save with fried chicken, just like what I did. And I used the stock in preparation of the rice. So guys, enjoy.